Tromso. So there's about four airports in Ireland, so we're going to the, the Dublin one, so it's a two hour trip for us. About eight o'clock in the morning, so we're gonna get there. Our flight's at 12, so I'm so excited. The sun is coming up nicely. So we've made it to our second destination, which is Oslo. I think it's there, it's going to be terrifying. So we're getting on the plane now to go to Tromso. Let's go. Before we literally got to the hotel and got changed and we're gonna go for something to eat I'll just give you a quick little tour of the room. So we're staying at the Radisson. It's super nice Cute little bed Like I'm a mess already. The bathroom is nice TV The bathroom is quite cute as well. Nice little shower yeah, this is, I got all my gear pretty much in Mountain Warehouse and Ride Store I got my jacket from and a few of my thermal gear. And the body clava is from North Face. It is freezing when we got here, like literally freezing, like there's snow everywhere. So I'm so excited, I can't wait to bring you around. But anyways, I'm gonna go out now, I'm gonna get something to eat and I will see you in a minute for you, but a while for me. Bye! We went outside for a smoke and I shit you not, it is absolutely Baltic. <laughs> I don't know how people live here. Cold weather amateurs. <laughs> but this is Tromso at night time. There's just so much snow, but it's like quite hard snow. So we just ordered some room service because we're tired and we've been traveling all day. So room service seems like the best way to go. I just have a feeling that my hair is gonna be so horrible this whole holiday from taking off hats and body clavas. All I've had to eat and say was hash brown and sausage this morning and then a wrap that was absolutely disgusting like Norwegian food seems a little bit weird like no offense like there's reindeer on the menu like I'm not eating that like I think that's horrible especially when I'm gonna be feeding one in the next few days I don't want to be eating one okay so we got our pizzas it's from Jonas and honestly not gonna lie to you it's a weird pizza that's all I'm gonna say I'm just gonna leave it there So far, Tromso seems like a really nice little town. Obviously, the food we had earlier wasn't the best food, but I mean, I'm sure there's other nice stuff. I'm just, I'm very picky, so it is kind of hard, but it's okay, I guess, that you just gotta try new things, and even when we do go to Thailand, I am excited to try some weird things, but I cross the line where you eat, like, certain animals, like, I just, I'm not about that, I don't like it, I think it's disgusting, I nearly bet again, you witnessed it. <laughs> you don't understand, like look at the ground. Just having an old smoke by the pizzeria. I'm gonna go back inside because I am freezing. We're probably gonna watch Love Island and then just go to bed because 
we have a long day tomorrow and I'm literally so cold I don't know how I'm gonna last <sighs> the state of my hair day one complete freezing I don't know how I'm gonna last tomorrow because we're going so see you tomorrow but for you it'll be like two seconds so see you then good night good morning this is my second time doing this because my microphone was off so it is 1 p.m. here nearly quarter to two we stepped in and now we're ahead here trams will look so different during the day it's so bright so beautiful like there's so much snow everywhere and it's starting to snow like drizzly snow but it's meant to start like snowing snowing later i'm gonna go have a look around and then at six o'clock today we are going to have a husky snow sled experience with the northern lights hopefully we'll see those northern lights because not everyone sees them So we decided to get some Burger King because it seems to be like what we know. So the Burger King is fairly normal, but what we've noticed around is literally the, everyone is dressed as if it's no problem to them that it's literally so cold out. They're dressed in like ankle socks, jeans, and a face. No thermal gear on and all of It's getting dark outside again. It feels like it's 6 o'clock or like 7 o'clock. I think it was only bright for literally like this is breakfast. half an hour, yeah. A lovely old breakfast and burger games. I've been trying to get as much footage as I can. We got a little bit out in the snow, but it is impossible to get it when there's snow coming down your camera. It's wet. I don't want my camera to break. So it's really, really difficult. And the Husky setting later, I'm gonna try and find some shop that maybe has some equipment to cover the camera or something. Anything, I don't know, but I'm gonna try and get as much footage as I can. That's my promise too, but if not, I'm sorry. But I'm doing my best. So we're just about to go on the Husky sled tour, getting ready we have to meet at six downstairs. So that is what we're going to do. I've never been so excited in my whole entire life. Apparently they poop on us. Yeah, apparently they shit on us because they can't stop. So that's gonna be fun. on the box. Yeah. Um, and after I graduated, I decided I want to leave uh, the job, not from soon. So here I am. 
I'm working full time. It's amazing though. And what's your name? I know we can't see you, but... Marvin! Marvin! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We're just back from the husky setting and honestly it was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. We got there and obviously we saw all the dogs and just going around we could go around and pet them. We saw the puppies first, they were quite like timid. Is timid the right word? Just shy. They just kind of wanted to do their own thing. And then we went to see the actual dogs and they were all howling and it was the cutest thing ever and I just wanted to take all of them home. But they did tell us that when the dogs retire that you can adopt a dog. I'll leave a link in the description to where I booked it. So whatever, I can't actually remember what the company name is, but it could be just like Arctic Husky said, I can't remember. But they have dogs up for adoption once they retire. So if you want to go and adopt a dog, do because they're the sweetest dogs. They're all so friendly. Once we got out into the sleds, I, I genuinely thought it was going to be like, I'm in one sled, Alex is in the other sled, and it's going to be like a long journey. But we got to sit together in the same sled and it was just so nice. The dogs just seemed to have a lot of fun, a lot of exercise for them. They need a lot of exercise. It was just something I've never experienced before. It was cold, we had a blanket, we were quite secure in that. And they gave us overalls as well, so we were completely warm. Um, and then we had dinner, we had some fish soup. Alex doesn't like fish, so I had the fish soup, but I didn't have much of it. And some bread and some hot chocolate, which was the nice, nicest hot chocolate I've ever had in my life. Any comments, babe? Wear two pairs of socks. That's hilarious. Ski mask, maybe. Ski mask. We wore balaclava. I think we're the only two that did, but honestly, not a single bit of cold got me. It was so good, and I think for the rest of the night now, we have to get up early tomorrow because we're going snowmobiling and looking at some ice domes. So I think for tonight, I'm going to sign off and just say good night now, even though we're probably just going to get something small to eat and just chill out and just go to bed. So good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Say good night, Al. Good night. <laughs>